Hello, uh, I'm here to present the quiz 2 for the topic uh, Marie, which is basically a simulation of this problem. So we have uh, four variables. Each variable is represented by an integer depending on the user, and then print out and also the sum and also the uh, answer so to achieve this we have to go first to our Marie so here is the Marie simulation simulator edit uh, going to find a dot mass mass means ma uh, Marie assembler so here is the code for the following problem I modified it um, so here is the problem that was from the website so first uh, I, w I will discuss the code how I arrive it so first is in every uh, code you have to initialize it so origin 100 and then input is basically to ask a va value from the user and store it in A and to print the A when e whenever you assign a value you have to load it and then output it so each time I each time the user assign a value for A uh, the value will be will appear here in this window in the assembler the so same goes for uh, the variable b we just have to repeat for both and the tricky part is the loop now I'm going to explain what this loop is for in Marie, uh, in Marie uh, we don't have a multiplication process so basically the best way to do is addition so as you recall uh, addition is a repeat uh, multiplication rather is a repeating addition so example if you multiply 2 by 3 you just have to repeat 2 uh, you repeat you just, you just have to repeat 2 adding itself 3 times or either repeat 3 adding itself 2 times either way will help either way will do so by the price of repeating the best candidate is loop so loop here same as the other programming language is is to initialize which is basically we have already done it here basically we just have to load what we have initialized and then add it in the accumulator and then store it in the memory so basically this is the process of adding the value a the value that is in a for the first uh, in a repeated time so now the question where is the counter or how will the loop will terminate so this this is the answer load b is basically in in is basically uh, the counter so this is basically the counter and this subtract one is the decrement for the counter b which is until it becomes zero the skip count will react so in for clarity for example we have to d multiply two times three so we have to input here two first and then we input we have to load three subtract it by one so it becomes now two and then store it store now the subtracted value of three which is now two in b updating it and then skip count this is skip count now I will tell you what is the purpose of skip count in skip count there is if the skip count is the instruction that when the load B becomes zero because eventually it will become zero because it in each loop it will be decremented and then updated and then check if it becomes zero basically the accumulator itself becomes zero so when it becomes zero it says that 
we have to skip the next instruction. So the next instruction is the jump loop, which is basically going back to the loop. So in in the other sense, skip count is the instruction that would terminate the loop, the for loop, oh, sorry, the loop when this value becomes zero or the accumulator becomes zero. So in our case, two times three, so basically it will loop for three times adding the number two by itself three times and then until then it the three becomes zero because it will be uh, subtracted by one each time and then skip count will detect that accumulator becomes zero and then it would skip this instruction and it will go here and then the output will be projected in the Mari simulator. Same goes for C. Same instruction, same procedure. Nothing is nothing's weird. So we have to move now to the sum. Basically, it's pretty simple. We just have to load the value that is the sum of A times B, and then add it in the accumulator. Add it in the add add in the AC the product of C times D basically adding them and then store it in the address multiply 3 uh, we should not do this multiply 3 it's basically sum so we have to update it here sum so assemble yeah successful so now that we that our assembly is successful we are going we are for we are going to demonstrate it load and we have we look for the dot max basically max means a mari executable or whatever max execution or chaba so four variables multiplication so first thing that i encounter error is if you do not if you don't uh, make it decimal same goes for heal here your there will be a, an error that would happen in your code so first is step so 2 so it was projected 3 2 times 3 basically is 6 now it is asking for another input so shall we say 4 and then 12 uh, 15 I put in 15 so basically, uh, 2 times 3 is 6, 4 times 15 is 60, and then 60 plus 6 is 66. So that's all for the Mari uh, for this problem. And I hope you learned something from me. Thank you.